Welcome to the Cyber Show brought to you by Thread Advice. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Ben. And the 2022 Winter Olympics are underway. And here at the Cyber Show, we've got some Olympics related stories and segments for you this time around. So you're going to want to stick around. We have our Cyber News Roundup followed by Cyber on Ice from Mandy. That's something really special. You definitely want to see that. Then we're racing a robot. And finally, a cyber attack on some snacks. So, Elizabeth, take it away. For our first story, the FBI is warning anyone who is attending the Winter Olympics and Paralympics to use a burner phone. According to the FBI, threats may include malware delivery, DDoS attacks, ransomware, social engineering, phishing campaigns, and even insider threats. This isn't the first time we've seen this. Last year, a similar warning was issued for the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics. The Citizens Lab report revealed that the official app for Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics was found to be insecure. The app called My2022 collects sensitive data, including real-time location, audio access, passport information, daily health status, COVID vaccination status, and tons more. The worst part is that the app is not optional for athletes. So the FBI is suggesting for them to leave their personal cell phones at home and instead install the app on a burner phone. So we'll see what happens. They're calling it the Burner Phone Olympics. And speaking of China, last week, News Corps, which is a publisher that owns the Wall Street Journal, the New York Post, Dow Jones, and a number of different UK news operations reported it was the subject of a cyber attack that they think was linked to China. Um, hackers accessed the emails and documents of a handful of employees, including journalist. Now, News Corps believes that China is connected to this based on some research from a cybersecurity team that went in after the fact and dug around and tried to see what they could find. But they're saying um, that the threat has been contained and that it's offering support to any affected employees. It doesn't appear at this point that the systems containing financial or customer data, including data on subscribers, was affected in any way. So this is a developing story, but it seems like China is behind this attack. That's all our news for this week because we have so much more good stuff on the way. Stick around. I didn't see you there. Let's talk about cybersecurity. You gotta figure out how to protect your data because there's no way to avoid cyber threats and you don't want to get frozen out of your systems. Don't let hackers huck you over. If you let malware off sides, you'll be the one in the penalty box. So think twice before you click a link and let a hacker in your rink. So spin out of bad cybersecurity habits. After all is sled and done, hackers will be running for the chill. Don't let your cybersecurity be on thin ice. Go for the gold. Call Threat Advice. <laughs> because there's no way. <laughs> so spin. In honor of the Olympics, we've created our own challenge for Elizabeth, and this is really, really good. Researchers at Oregon State University have claimed the record for the fastest bipedal robot 5K run ever. And you're gonna try to beat that time. You're gonna try to outrun the robot. Cassie. The robot. Cassie. Cassie <laughs> is her name. And here's the thing with the robot. Robots don't get tired. I mean, they, they have a battery charge, but don't get tired. <laughs> the weather, unless it's like really intense, doesn't affect them. Uh, they don't have to sleep, they don't have to eat, they don't have to hydrate. So 
We'll see. Here's the catch. I'm not telling Elizabeth the time that it took Cassie the robot <laughs> to run five kilometers. So we'll see if she can beat that time. And if she does, we'll crown her the winner. If not, second place, silver medal. What do you think? <laughs> Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, bye. Okay, we're about at the halfway point, and so far, so good. Uh, she's ahead of Cassie at this point. She doesn't know it, but she's she's got a pretty decent lead. So I think she's in line for the win, unless she just, you know, gets exhausted toward the end. So we'll see. And what she doesn't know is that Cassie actually fell over twice in her 5K run. Once because the human controller uh, actually made her turn too quickly, and the second time because her robot brain overheated. So uh, Elizabeth hasn't had any falls. So I would say she's winning in that department. So anyway, let's get back to the ride. You done? Yes. All right, what's your time? Okay, 3.2 miles and 34 minutes. Oh! <laughs> I'm tired. You feel good about that? Yeah. I, I don't know. What's the time for Cassie? Okay, Cassie's time. <laughs> Your time was 34 minutes? Mm -hmm. 34 minutes, 5K. Will you outrun the killer I robots <laughs> for now? Cassie's time was 53 minutes. Oh! Okay, good, good. So I'm you, scared. you way, way awesome. outpaced Okay, Cassie. that's great. So good so job, first good job. Place. That Go means USA. you get this. First Congrats. place. Thanks. <laughs> Definitely need validation for that. <laughs> so let's be outrun the robot. the robot. Yes. Good work. Good work. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It's time to spill the tea. UK snack conglomerate AP Snacks was hit by ransomware this following week. And they're the makers of pop chips and other British delicacies. Conti ransomware is the strain of ransomware that hit them. And this could mean for them shortages, not being able to fulfill orders deep into March. That's what they're predicting. So people, get your pop chips. because these things are gonna fly off the shelves very soon. This has been a devastating blow to Team Great Britain. But what can I say? Go Team USA. And that's all we got this week.